So I've been getting a lot of questions recently about the differences between a data scientist and a data analyst or a data analyst and a data engineer. Working at a startup has given me the privilege of wearing a lot of hats or gaining experience in different positions or roles. So I decided to make a video talking about my experiences and my thoughts on each position and the distinctions between these positions based on my experience. So let's start with the data analyst position. Data analysts are probably the most in-demand position in the field of data right now. Data analysts are typically responsible for operations after the data is collected, but in some cases you might have to mine and collect the data yourself. Uh, this position is typically in demand for companies that are just starting. Uh, they go for data analysts over data engineers and data scientists because the data they have might not be too big and they want a more broad and flexible role that can do a little bit of data engineering and data science so that they can save money and get the most return of investment. In my opinion, the main role of a data analyst is to look at data from multiple angles so that they can form insights and build dashboards or presentations or report to present and share those insights to their stakeholders or managers, supervisors, who can then make data-driven decisions based on those insights. Some of the things you might have to do as a data analyst includes you know, cleaning the data, mining the data, manipulating or transforming the data and analyzing the data so that you can visualize it later and present that data. Data analysts usually do a descriptive analysis which focuses on the facts at hand based on the data we already have. Although programming knowledge is not mandatory for this specific position, it is highly recommended and encouraged. In fact, I uh, encourage everyone to learn a little bit of programming because it's really useful in this modern day and can definitely be applied in any field regardless if it's in the data field or other fields in the tech area. For a data analyst specifically, I recommend learning SQL, Python, and R. These three languages are highly translatable and transferable to other fields like data science and data engineering. They're also the most used languages within the field. Most of the work you do as a data analyst can be done with business insights tool like Power BI, Tableau, or Looker. Other analysis can be done with Google Sheets and uh, Microsoft Excel. In my opinion, curiosity and effective communication are essential skills to excel in this field. Now, a lot of you might be curious about the salary of a data analyst. I can't give you an exact number, but I can give you an average based on uh, data from Indeed.com and Glassdoor and that average is about $70,000 a year. The threshold to become a data analyst is less formal. You do not need a degree or a certification. You can become a data analyst based on experience and YouTube videos. You just have to build a resume that is very strong, showing a lot of experience, and you know you might have a shot. But I do still think it's beneficial to go to school and get a formal education or a certification because it's kind of a safety net. So yeah, take that as you may, but I just wanted to inform you that there are a lot of data analysts working in the industry right now who do not have a formal background and they're doing pretty well. So next, we're gonna talk about the data engineering position. Not many people know this, but a data engineer is usually the number one hire if a larger company is gonna start taking data seriously. This is because data engineers are responsible for operations before the data is collected. They're gonna have to gather all unstructured data, clean it up so that data analysts and data scientists can make use of that data and make useful and actionable insights based on that data. Like I said before, data engineers are responsible for gathering, maintaining, and organizing the data. They work with a lot of unstructured data to make data pipelines for data analysts and data scientists to use. For a lot of smaller companies, cloud-based data storages like uh, Amazon Redshift or Google BigQuery can do a good job and replace the need of a data engineer altogether. But as these companies grow, a data engineer will definitely be needed to maintain all the data stored and you know, organize it so that there's no problems and the data analysts and data scientists can do their job effectively. These cloud-based data storage tools allow smaller companies to focus on hiring data analysts or data scientists so that they can focus on growing the company and increasing their revenue. For this specific role, programming knowledge is essential, along with some data engineering tools like Apache Spark, Snowflake, and data build tools or DBT. The average salary for this role is about 130,000 according to indeed.com. Unfortunately, for a role like this, it usually requires some formal education or a lot of experience, so the barrier for entry is a little higher. Lastly, we're gonna talk about the data scientist role. According to the Harvard Business Review, this is the sexiest job of the 21st century. So a lot of you might want to lean towards this niche. If you're interested, I made a couple videos talking about what data science is and how to get a data science internship. I'll link them down in the description below if you guys wanna watch. Now, data scientists tend to have similar roles to data analysts, but there definitely are distinct differences. I like to think of data scientists as specialized data analysts. Data scientists tend to be able to filter out all the noise in the data and focus on what questions are worth investigating or could produce significant results based on statistical signals. So just like data analysts, they can do descriptive analysis, but on top of that, they can also do predictive analysis. They do that by using machine learning and big data to make predictions about the future using historical data. The threshold to become a data scientist is higher than that of a data analyst 
It usually requires higher education, like a master's degree. However, if you've been a data analyst for a long period of time and you know a little bit of machine learning and you have experience to prove that, you might be qualified to become a data scientist. To my knowledge though, most companies look for data scientists with a lot of experience because they want someone knowledgeable holding that role and making those decisions. For this role, programming knowledge is compulsory because you'll be handling big data and you'll need high level tools and skills to automate that process and crunch big numbers and big data. And also you'll be building complex models and algorithms. So programming languages like Python, R, MATLAB, SAS, or Julia will be very helpful. Based on my knowledge, Python is the highest growing language in this field right now. So Python might be the best language for you to learn if you're just starting out. The average salary for this role, uh, according to indeed.com, is $120,000 a year in the US. But I've personally seen and know a lot of data scientists who earn a lot more than that. Just to break it down and summarize everything, a data engineer is more like the architect. They build and plan out the data so that everyone else can use it. I like to see data analysts as explorers because they look at the data at different angles and explore it to come up with trends and patterns that they can present to their stakeholders. These are all based on the structured data made by the data engineer. I see data scientists as doctors or surgeons because they're able to diagnose what questions are valuable and what are not, what questions are worthy of investigating and can provide big results. And they're also specialized in machine learning and other complex statistical techniques that help them create or form these predictive analysis models which uh, ultimately makes the company grow and make good decisions. From my experience and what I've learned in the field, data analyst is most in demand compared to data engineering and data science. Obviously, there's a lot of overlap in these three roles, but I hope this video managed to highlight or show some distinction between these three roles. If you're just getting started and you're unsure of what to do, my advice is to explore and learn the skills required for all these roles. Even if in the future you end up specializing in a role like data science, the other skills you learn like DBT and data engineering skills will definitely help you by giving you perspective so that you can answer your questions more effectively, more uh, efficiently, and you know, gives you a different angle or perspective to look at. So learning all these skills will definitely be beneficial to you. Anyway, I hope this video gave you some insights on the differences and similarities between these three roles so that you can excel in the field of data. If you guys have any suggestions of what video you wanna see next or any questions you'd like to ask, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll try my best to answer every question. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.